have you ever noticed how nobody in Washington can agree on a number? Now, math is supposed to be objective, but in the real world, you would think that people with functioning calculators could come to similar math-based conclusions once in a while, but not in DC. Try getting a consensus on unemployment projections or consumer confidence levels from members of Congress. So with all of that in mind, it's pretty amazing to watch virtually everyone in Washington, Republican and Democrat, repeat precisely the same number on one of the most critical problems that we face, and that number is 11 million. That number, they tell us, is exactly how many foreign nationals currently live here illegally. All the experts say that. There are precisely 11 million undocumented aliens. Now, 11 million is a lot. On the other hand, at a time of trillion dollar spending bills, is it really so many? 11 million isn't what it used to be. In any case, that's exactly how many illegal aliens there are. 11 million, 11 million, 11 million. No more, no less. Now, people have different views on what we ought to do about illegal immigrants, but nobody questions how many there are because there are 11 million, period. Joe Biden knows this. How's it gonna affect you? Well, according to Joe Biden's flack, it means you'll have exactly 11 million new fellow Americans. Adding 11 million new citizens would have big effects on America, profound effects. How many people is 11 million people? Well, 43 of the 50 US states have a smaller population than 11 million. And that's not just Wyoming and South Dakota, it's Virginia, Georgia, Michigan, New Jersey, Massachusetts, and so on, big states. What would this cost? No one asks, it's kind of hard to know the real answer, but if you're trying to put the math together, be sure to factor in the free health care you'll soon be paying for every one of the 11 million. We all assume that 11 million is the real number, but is it the real number? Is that actually the number of foreign nationals who live within our borders illegally and will be getting amnesty very soon? No, it's not the real number. In fact, it's a totally fake number which people endlessly repeat only because they are badly informed or dishonest. They've been repeating that number for a very long time, more than 15 years at least. Way back in 2005, the Pew Research Center announced that, quote, the undocumented population has reached nearly 11 million. The weird thing is that 12 years later, Pew had roughly the same estimate. Nothing had changed in more than a decade, and that should have been a tell that the number itself was fraudulent. The question is, what is the real number? And why is everyone saying it's 11 million? Why is everyone coming to the same wrong conclusion? They're not all lying. So we checked, and here's what we found. Pretty much everybody who talks about immigration, including Dr. Jill Biden, is using the Census Bureau's annual American Community Survey to estimate how many illegal immigrants live in this country. One senior lecturer at MIT School of Management put it this way. It's been the only method used for the last three decades. So what is the method? Well, the census tallies up the number of foreign-born people they've identified who live in this country. Then, estimators subtract the number of foreign-born people known to be in the U.S. legally. Bingo, 11 million, that's where you get. The problem is, this method of calculation is bound to be wrong. Many illegal immigrants don't respond to census takers. Why would they? They're here illegally. Robert Groves, the former director of the Census Bureau, summed up the reality this way, quote, there's no magic bullet that anyone has discovered to count this population. This is really very difficult to estimate. So many of the studies projecting that there are only 11 million illegal immigrants have in fact acknowledged that the census is not perfect. They've been honest about that. But strangely, they assumed that it was pretty close to perfect. Specifically, they operate on the assumption that only about 10% of illegal immigrants weren't being captured by census takers, weren't responding to the forms. Put another way, their models assume that 90% of the people living in this country illegally were willing to cooperate with census takers. Now, why would they assume that? It seems like a ridiculous assumption. This is bad math at the very least. So the 11 million number is above all a lie. The 11 million number is one of the more obvious lies ever told. Who would do something like that? How do you feel about the country you would do that to? You have contempt for it. Of course, they won't to tell you the total number. They want you to believe it's 11 million always and forever. And by the time you figure out they're lying to you, it'll be too late to do anything about it, obviously.